God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ the Lord is risen today. Christians, haste your vows to pay. Make your joy and praise us known at the Paschal Victim's throne. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Lord my God, how great you are, Alleluia. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord God, how great you are clothed in majesty and glory, wrapped in light as in a robe. You stretch out the heavens like a tent. Above the rains you build your dwelling. You made the clouds your chariot. You walk on the wings of the wind. You make the winds your messengers and flashing fire your servants. You founded the earth on its base to stand firm from age to age. You wrapped it with the ocean like a cloak. The waters stood higher than the mountains. At your threat they took to flight. At the voice of your thunder they fled. They rose over the mountains and flowed down to the place which you had appointed. You set limits they might not pass, lest they return to cover the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow in between the hills. They give their drink to all the beasts of the field. The wild asses quench their thirst. On their banks dwell the birds of heaven. From the branches they sing their song. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord my, my God, God, how, how great, great you are. are. Alleluia. Lord, you fill the earth with the fruit of your works. Alleluia. From your dwelling you water the hills. Earth drinks its fill of your gift. You make the grass grow for the cattle and the plants to serve man's needs. That he may bring forth bread from the earth and wine to cheer man's heart, oil to make him glad, and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord drink their fill, the cedars he planted on Lebanon. There the birds build their nests. On the treetop the stork has her home. The goats find a home on the mountains, and rabbits hide in the rocks. You made the moon to mark the months. The sun knows the time for its setting. When you spread the darkness, it is night, and all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey and ask their food from God. At the rising of the sun, they steal away and go to rest in their dens. Man goes out to his work to labor till evening falls. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you, you fill, fill the earth, earth with, with the fruit of your works. Alleluia. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. Alleluia. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. There is the sea vast and wide, with its moving swarms past counting, living things great and small. The ships are moving there, and the monsters you made to play with. All of these look to you, to give them their food in due season. You give it, they gather it up. You open your hand, they have their fill. You hide your face, they are dismayed. You take back your spirit, they die, returning to the dust from which they came. 
You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord last forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth and it trembles. The mountains send forth smoke at his touch. I will sing to the Lord all my life. Make music to my God while I live. May my thoughts be pleasing to him. I find my joy in the Lord. Let sinners vanish from the earth, and the wicked exist no more. Bless the Lord, my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. May the glory of the Lord endure, endure forever. forever. Alleluia. God has raised the Lord to life. Alleluia. Through his power he will also raise us up. Alleluia. From the first letter of the Apostle Peter. Beloved, you are strangers and in exile. Hence, I urge you not to indulge your carnal desires. By their nature, they wage war on the soul. Though the pagans may slander you as troublemakers, conduct yourselves blamelessly among them. By observing your good works, they may give glory to God on the day of visitation. Because of the Lord, be obedient to every human institution, whether to the emperor as sovereign or to the governors he commissions for the punishment of criminals and the recognition of the upright. Such obedience is the will of God. You must silence the ignorant talk of foolish men by your good behavior. Live as free men, but do not use your freedom as a cloak for vice. In a word, live as servants of God. You must esteem the person of every man. Foster love for the brothers, reverence for God, respect for the emperor. You household slaves, obey your masters with all deference not only the good and reasonable ones, but even those who are harsh. When a man can suffer injustice and endure hardship through his awareness of God's presence, this is the work of grace in him. If you do wrong and get beaten for it, what credit can you claim? But if you put up with suffering for doing what is right, this is acceptable in God's eyes. It was for this you were called, since Christ suffered for you in just this way and left you an example, to have you follow in his footsteps. He did no wrong, no deceit was found in his mouth. When he was insulted, he returned no insult. When he was made to suffer, he did not counter with threats. Instead, he delivered himself up to the one who judges justly. In his own body, he brought your sins to the cross, so that all of us, dead to sin, could live in accord with God's will. By his wounds, you were healed. At one time you were straying like sheep, but now you have returned to the shepherd, the guardian of your souls. Christ suffered for us, leaving us an example that we might follow in his footsteps. Alleluia. He bore our sins in his own body on the cross, that we might die to sin and live for holiness. That we might follow in his footsteps. Alleluia. From an Easter homily by an ancient author. Saint Paul rejoices in the knowledge that spiritual health has been restored to the human race. 
Death entered the world through Adam, he explains, but life has been given back to the world through Christ. Again, he says, the first man, being from the earth, is earthly by nature. The second man is from heaven and is heavenly. As we have borne the image of the earthly man, the image of human nature grown old in sin, so let us bear the image of the heavenly man, human nature raised up, redeemed, restored, and purified in Christ. We must hold fast to the salvation we have received. Christ was the first fruits, says the apostle. He is the source of resurrection and life. Those who belong to Christ will follow him. Modeling their lives on his purity, they will be secure in the hope of his resurrection and of enjoying with him the glory promised in heaven. Our Lord himself said so in the gospel. Whoever follows me will not perish, but will pass from death to life. Thus, the passion of our Savior is the salvation of mankind. The reason why he desired to die for us was that he wanted us who believe in him to live forever. In the fullness of time, it was his will to become what we are so that we might inherit the eternity he promised and live with him forever. Here then is the grace conferred by these heavenly mysteries, the gift which Easter brings, the most longed for feast of the year. Here are the beginnings of creatures newly formed, children born from the life-giving font of Holy Church, born anew with the simplicity of little ones and crying out with the evidence of a clean conscience. Chaste fathers and inviolate mothers accompany this new family, countless in number, born to new life through faith. As they emerge from the grace-giving womb of the font, a blaze of candles burns brightly beneath the tree of faith. The Easter festival brings the grace of holiness from heaven to men. Through the repeated celebration of the sacred mysteries, they receive the spiritual nourishment of the sacraments. Fostered at the very heart of Holy Church, the fellowship of one community worships the one God, adoring the triple name of his essential holiness. And together with the prophet sings the psalm which belongs to this yearly festival. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. And what is this day? It is the Lord Jesus Christ himself, the author of light, who brings the sunrise and the beginning of life, saying of himself, I am the light of day. Whoever walks in daylight does not stumble. That is to say, whoever follows Christ in all things will come by this path to the throne of eternal light. Such was the prayer Christ made to the Father while he was still on earth. Father, I desire that where I am, they also may be, those who have come to believe in me, and that as you are in me and I in you, so may they abide in us. The first man was formed from the dust of the earth. The second man is from heaven. Just as we resemble the man of dust, so we shall also bear the image of the man of heaven. Alleluia. As the earthly man was, so are we on earth. As the man of heaven, so shall we be in heaven. Just as we resemble the man of dust, so we shall also bear the image of the man of heaven. Alleluia. You are God, we praise you. You, you are, are the Lord, Lord we acclaim you. you. You, you are, are the, the eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, 
worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Let us pray. God, our Father, on this solemn feast, you give us the joy of recalling the rising of Christ to new life. May the joy of our annual celebration bring us to the joy of eternal life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks. <laughs> 